Hi there, it's Kelly here. In this video, we will be teaching you how to add your first product on Easy Store. For each product, you will need eight different key information. I know it sounds a lot, but don't worry. It's actually just very simple. I just put it down so that you know what you need to prepare. I will go through each and every one of them. And trust me, once you add the product in once, the next few times, it will be so much easier. So the first one will be product title, product description, images, variants, pricing, inventory, SEO optimization, and number eight will be other settings. All right, so once you're logged in, we want to click on products. And on the top right corner, we're going to click on add products. So the first section, product title, very straightforward. I'm just going to put in glow in the dark lab. So moving on, second part, product description. I'm actually so lazy to create my own product description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate a short description for me. So, you know, if you're like me, you don't want to write up so many descriptions, you can actually just use this tool. It's very convenient. It's already built in and everything. So you don't need to go back and force ChatGPT copy paste, right? So now that's done, I'm going to add in my image. So for this section, there's actually three methods. So one, you can drag and drop your image there. Or two, you can actually paste the URL to that image and actually it will be automatically updated. Or number three is, you know, you want to display a, a short video of how your product works and things like that. And you can actually upload it to your own YouTube channel and copy that YouTube video link and paste it right here. Then it will display um, when people are browsing through your products. Okay, so for the next section under variants, for my product, I have two variants. One would be the cat shape and one would be the rabbit shape. So I'm going to input here cat and rabbit. Once you add in your variants, then this table appears where you are asked to put in information for each of the variants. So this includes your SKU, your price, your compare at price, your cost price, your product dimensions and so on. And if you want to change the image for each variant, you can click on this product icon here and upload the photo. So I'm going to actually highlight um, compare at price. So let's say you have a product at 50 ringgit originally and you are selling it at 30 right now. So your compare at, you can key in 50 and then your selling price, you can key in 30 and this is how it will appear like. Lah. So this is actually just for promotion strategy. Then the next one I want to highlight is when it comes to product dimensions, you want to make sure that you put this accurately because it will actually determine how much your customers are being charged for shipping. All right, we are now halfway there. Let's keep it going. The next section we'll be covering is inventory. So if you want to utilize Easy Store's multiple location inventory, which allows you to track, you know, your inventory across multiple locations, including your online and offline stores, then you want to change this setting for inventory control to um, let Easy Store track inventory of this product. So if you want to track your inventory, you can click on this blue hyperlink and insert your inventory across all your outlets. Right, so the next setting I'll be talking about is search engine optimization. So by default, the page URL handle and meta description will be the same as your product title and product description. But if you want to level up your SEO, then and here are some tips that you could make use of. So the best practice for this section is to make sure that your page URL handle is the same as your product title to keep it consistent for your customers. And in terms of the meta description, you want to make sure that the description doesn't break off. All right, so now that we're done with inputting all the information on products, we'll now move on to the right side of this page where we will look at the settings. So these settings are actually not visible to our customers, they actually, but they actually play an important role in how we are organizing our products. So visibility is straightforward. You want to publish it, you want to schedule it to publish data or even unpublish it, you can just change it right here. Then if you look below, there are actually a few more settings here. So what collection feature does is you can actually add a few products into what we sort of, you know, called categories that you can actually showcase on your website. For instance, you know, my, my lamp here, I can put it all into a collection called lamp and then I can actually add a section in my online store that only features all the lamps in my store. So that's what this feature does. In, in terms of the other three filters, we can actually use it um, when searching for products in our own back end. Alright, so with that, we have successfully added our first product. I'll see you again. Bye!